if you watch any of my other TikTok videos, uh, you'll know that I got a I made my own uh, book advent calendar and it was really cool. It was really fun to open a new book every day, like a present to myself. Except some of them were pretty average, so you know, let's go through a D-haul. Starting with this one. <laughs> I um it's a no for me, that's for sure. It was my only one star reader 2022. If you've watched my 2022 wrapped video, you'll know. You know. It's a no. But I'm wondering if I should keep it for like you know when you got a page of a book to like make something funky so you could make like scrapbooking or something but you know I think this is where that's gonna go so if I just put that on the ground over there I don't know what I mean next one a death to us part I think I think I think I think I think I need to do some research on it so for me it's going to sit on this pile until I figure out what to do with it until I do some research I reckon this one, um, I wanted to, again, read some reviews. It's a floppy book. Wonderful. I want to read some reviews, see whether it's worth reading. So this one, again, can stay for, like, a we'll see kind of pile. A Crooked Tree. I don't really remember this one. Mm, that's okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I kind of do remember this one. Okay, so it's, like, the one that um, one of the kids gets left behind. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put it on my, TBR, on my TBR shelves. And when we sort, when we sort my... My bookshelves. We'll decide then. Pizza Girl. I like this cover. Do you know what? It's quite a small book. I reckon TBR. Oh. Okay, this seemed kind of cute at the time. Ooh. You know what? It's a romance. Seems kind of easy. Yes. Let me be frank with you um, again another series let's put it in this let's research one this one yes looked cute uh i think it's wait is this a series too okay we're gonna research this one as well gosh god this isn't a de-holing at all um very hard to put down oh my gosh am i just gonna keep them all please don't Oh, this one actually was super intrigued, the MI5 agent one. This one I was intrigued about. So this one, oh, this one just goes straight to my TBR shop. What am I doing? Um, Child of My Heart. I don't remember this one. It didn't grab me. Uh, it didn't pull me straight away. I think it's a no. I think it's an op shop. I don't know where my op shop pile is. Pop shop piles on the floor. Dog Roast, yeah, I think this is one of the first ones, and I, yeah, serial killer vibes, yep, it's a it's a yes in the TBR pile for me. Uh, baby boom, all women, all women, mm, 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 is a 30 year old who constantly is being asked whether I'm gonna be a mum. It annoys me. You know what, I wanna check it out first. That's more researching stuff. Uh, World War Stories, okay, this was from a, this is a short story collection from World War II. Huh. Oh, okay, it says Roald Dahl, wrote a little one, so, yeah. We'll put it in my TBR, we'll see, we'll deal with it then. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a historical fiction that, uh, got a bit of water damage, she's looking better now, and I can't really give that to the op shop, so I think, you know what that's gonna be? It's another say 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 one where I'm gonna use the paper. Cause it's already like aged. Cute. Uh amount out of time. Again, I don't oh okay, yes. What if I just wrote it down for you? This one totally intrigued me. So yes for me. TBL. Ah, yes, this one I really like the cover up, so it's a yes on the cover front. <laughs> um the professor of poetry. Um, mm, I'd be, I think I have to be in a specific mood, but I reckon I'll pop on my TBR because I probably will come across that mood sometime in my life. Yes, straight off, straight off the bat, yes, this fun is going to look gorgeous up there, so yes. Uh, the right to remain silent, again, I think I remember thinking yes, 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 so it's a yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Shadow Man. Oh yeah, this was like creepy, perfect, yep, yep, yep. But I still want to check out if it's a 
solo book. Is that the word? No, that's not the word. A standalone book. Is it a standalone book? We will read it. Oh, I read this one. Mmm. Mmm. Still don't know how I feel about it, actually. But I think we can go to the op shop now. I've read it. I don't plan to reread it. Yeah. Again. Mm, 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 mm. Not so sure about it. I want to do some research. Maybe I should have researched. My battery just died on my camera off. Bugger. You know what? I got one more left. We will continue on with this camera. Luckily, I was filming the TikTok and Instagram. The passage is a yes for me. I know I had the other copy somewhere, but I can't find it, so it's a yes for me. That's the D haul. I don't know what else to do with these ones besides research them and then decide from there. Now, you know when all uh, people who create content are like, oh, I had to film this on another day. Yeah, no, I just I just couldn't be fucked doing this, to be honest. It seemed like such an effort. This has been sitting on my desk for way too long. I work from home full time. So this has been sitting here like in my eyeballs. Like, you need to, <laughs> you need to deal with this shit. But I just, I just don't. Anyway, so I'm finally getting around to it today. Uh, and as you can tell, um, nothing's changed at all. Definitely the same day filming. It hasn't been weeks. Yeah, I dyed my head pink. Uh, you know what? It is actually really fun. I really dig it. It looks crazy bright up against this blue wall. But uh, would I recommend it? My hair is so dry and so dead. It's and the colour has already faded and I've only shampooed it once since washing it out, like since washing out the actual dye. Uh, would I recommend it 10 out of 10, 100% of the time? Yes, dye your hair, whatever colour you fucking want. Let's go through and I'm going to research these books. Like I said earlier in the book, in the video, um, which I'm pretty sure I said because it's been a while since I filmed that video. Anyway, so I'm going to research the books, see whether they are good, bad, otherwise, and then... Either keep for my TBR or uh, I'm probably going to take them to a, um, what are they called? Street libraries. So let's check it out. So in front of me, I have Storygraph. So I have Storygraph and Goodreads. So using Storygraph first. So uh, that's my preference. But uh, sometimes Storygraph doesn't have all the books that I want. Heaven and Hell. Historical fiction. Nobody that I follow has interacted with this book so i've got it's got a 4.1 average rating okay mm, historical fiction plus fishing that will be a really good read for someone at the street lab all right uh the shadow man now i wanted to find out if this was a part of a sad or a standalone so shadow man The Shadow Man, nothing's come out except for Shadow and Bone, which pretty good. FYI, if you haven't watched it, read it, not bad. Looking forward to season two. Uh, Helen Fields. Okay, cool, let's come up. Oh, it was published in 2021. It's a thriller. Ah, standalone. Standalone. Okay. Okay, so the perfect series are these ones, and those two are a set. Cool, certainly. That is going on my TBR. You can sit back over where you came from. I will put you on my shelf. Okay, this is the other one that I wanted to check out whether it was a series, what it was about, because I've seen it. Um, I recently just went to the op shop as well, and I saw, I think I saw the red and the green one. Anyway, and I was like, should I buy them? And I was like, no, Georgia, if you didn't do your research, when you said you would, and you don't get to, no, you don't get to buy books just for the sake of buying books. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a conversation <laughs> in the aisles of Savers of Salvos or something like that. <laughs> All right, Sweet Sweet Revenge Limited by Jonas Jonathan. No one knows who's interacted. It's a three point five five percent, a three point five five star rating. Returns with an enchanting adventure. Okay, so it does seem like a standalone. Drips, drops in a few lessons on colonial, colonialism and art history and pokes fun at capitalism and the artwork. Plenty of laughs along the way. Okay. 
I kind of like to make fun of capitalism as she's bought into books. Um, okay, let's leave it on the TBR. And then I'll deal with it when I sort my shelves. This is me being like, after, 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 and then eventually just going one day, why the fuck did I get rid of this thing? Okay, why was this one on my to research list? I guess we'll just check it out. Um, by the way, I'm still doing all of this on uh, Storygraph because Storygraph is my jam. Near Enemy. Spade Man number two. Yeah, it's, so it's a series and it's only got 3.79 stars by 77 reviews. 2015, will I buy the first one? Let's check it out. Spade Man. It's called Shovel Ready and it was published in 2014. 3.4%. We actually give this one to the op shop, not to the street library. Because the chance of the potentially ever, potentially ever meeting up with its first. I mean, okay. you're going to go to the op shop. Thank you, friend. Okay, now, ooh, this is a bad boy. Invader. I, I kind of like it, but do you know what? I reckon it's going to be a historical fiction, like, is this Roman Empire times? I, I, I don't know. I'm not a history person and I just enjoy it. And it's Invader. Invader. You know it's good when Invader Zim comes up first. Okay, Invader number one to five. Is this five books in one? Okay, it has six reviews on, on Storygraph with an average rating of four. I mean, that's not bad, but like six reviews is, is not a lot. But I, yeah, I've gone off less. I've gone off less before. Roman Britain is far from tamed. Puppet King. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it was five separate ebook novellas, and now it's been published as one. Oh my lord! Look, look, look at that list. They're all by Simon, and then that's with T.J. Andrews. That is. A whole bunch of books but yeah totally like this historical fiction vibe you know what some geezer is gonna love that at the street library like if you pick that up for free or oh, hasn't even got a crack spine oofed coming to a street library view you all right let me be frank with you this one was on there because this one was talking about the bascom novels which made me think it was a series let me I think the only downside, like, I love Storygraph and I'm happy to, like, often look past some of the things and all little glitches that happen because I just love the company and the, the person who runs it is, they're amazing. Um, but sometimes their search function is a little bit tedious. I wish there was a, an advanced search option. That's what I wish for. But do you know what? I should probably tell them that rather than just put saying it in a video to myself. Oh, your girl said no crack spine, but look at that. That ain't good. Oopsies. All right. Back to this book. Uh, let me be frank with you, Frank Bascom, at number four. Slow paced. It's got 114 reviews with an average of 3.44 star reviews. Let's check out the others. I love that with Storygraph. You can just click straight on the... Um, straight on the... The series. I, the reason I stopped talking was because the first one's called The Sports Writer. Mm. Doesn't really capture me. You know what? I just... I'm going to give this to the op shop. Alright, we're getting there. Okay, this one that I've seen all over the op shop and I want to know what it's going on about. Freedom uh, Novel. Published in 2010. No one that I follow is interactive. You know, I'm not actually following that many people on Astrograph, so you know. Hit me up on Astrograph so then I can, uh, when I'm saying no one that I've interacted with, because then it's like I can actually be like, you specifically made me not read this book. <laughs> Where am I? I don't know. Anyway, okay, this has 5,121 reviews. Storygraph only came out like two years ago. That's a lot of reviews. Average rating of 3.69%. Giggity, giggity. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay. You know what? Mm, it's gonna go to a straight library. 
Someone is going to love it. All right, last one. Woohoo! I guess this is part of a series. But death do us part. Okay, it's book number six. My brain was like, no, straight off the bat. Yeah, uh, 4.5 average rating, but only eight reviews. Published in 2016. Let's check out the rest of the series. Am I going to buy five more books just because of this one book? Do you know what's going to really annoy me? If it's actually like a really good series and I'm just going, nah, fuck it. Upshop. Oh, that's it. So out of two, five, okay, out of eight books that I was researching and wasn't so certain of, these are the two that I'm actually keeping. So The Shadow Man, which is a standalone, which is amazing. This one I think is a standalone. I'm very uncertain of this one, but um, you know, one day I might just be in the mood. And you know what? I also have been thinking about sometimes I don't even pick up a book because I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. I think I need to get better at DNFing books and just being a little bit more critical. Sometimes I pick up a book and I have seen it all over Bookstagram or BookTok and I'm like, that is going to be phenomenal. So then I have to love it or I just, if I get scared of a book that I think I'm going to love it too much, then I never read it or I never finish it. So... I think I just have to pick it up, see what I think about it, 100 pages in, either continue reading it, DNF it. I have to be more brutal with my DNS. I think this one I need to do like a thriller thing because I've got a, quite a few thriller books and I'm an absolute sook. That's not a bad outcome. So these ones here coming to a street library near you and these ones here coming to an op shop and hopefully buy like some like universal magic they have their the rest of their series like the the op shop is waiting for these ones so op shop shelves i could just launch them over there i'm not gonna do that i did it anyway uh okay so those ones op shop these ones street library that was, that was successful. Okay, there we go. We have unhauled official. I've now sorted through that Christmas advent calendar. Would I recommend it? Mm -mm. Maybe next year. And by next year, I mean this year. Um, I might have to get a genre specific box, like something that I'm actually going to enjoy because I just got like a general fiction. And uh, that, there was quite a few books. What was that? Like eight books that out of eight out of 25 books. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. You know what? I'm just gonna look it up. What percentage? Okay, 32% of the books. I feel so mathy. 32% of the books that I got in the advent calendar are moving on. No. Oh, no, because I've thrown out other books. Not thrown out. How many books did I get rid of? Now, I'm, now I've thrown myself. Okay, so... Okay, 32% of the books... From the advent calendar, I had to think twice about. Six of them are going on to other people. And two of them have gone back to my shelves. How many does that leave? <laughs> Either way, I, I've de-hauled quite a few of them. So I don't know if I would recommend it. I think it would have to be a, a genre specific mystery box, I think, for me to do it again. Thank you for watching the D haul. I hope I haven't dehauled any of the books. You're like, actually, you would have loved that. You're a fool. Uh, and if I have, well, bugger. See you soon.